Hello everyone, FunshinX here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Portal Knights. This is episode 9, I'm playing our mage. We are level 10 mage here, and in the Tetratoxy area. And we've got quite a few yellow blocks, so we should be able to get the next area pretty quick if we can just find the portal. Oh, there it is right there. That's convenient. <laughs> Alright, so... This is the next area, right? Yeah, we've got quite a few different places to, to head. So we need some blue crystals, I think, is the next thing we're after. I mean, more iron, I guess, would be nice. Um, but to get our next spells and next wand, I think we needed the blue crystals. And so we'll see if we have them. All right, we got like a snow area. Oh, and we're starting underground. Okay, or not underground, but in a castle type thing. So we're gonna take out these barrels, get a few cool things. Palm leaves and the sharpening stones. All right. So these gazers, I noticed playing with my warrior, I can't, I couldn't hit them with my sword just normally because they kind of float or fly. So I ended up equipping him with a bow instead of a sword. Well, I had a sword too as well, but every anytime I would come across a flying mob, I would use a bow um, to take it out. And then it turned out that the bows actually do more damage than the swords. So it was, I ended up rarely using my sword because I could kill the mobs before they even got close. So... Yeah, that may be something they should look at in the future of balancing the three classes. The mage is definitely the weakest. Just because of the way the spell cooldowns work. Um, where each spell locks out all of the other spells. And you do not have very much mana. I'd be fine with long cooldowns as long as you had um, a lot more mana. Or short cooldowns and less mana or something like that. So you could unload really quick. Alright, so we've got these little weird beehives here. What is this? This is silk. Okay, yeah, we do need silk, so let's mine up a little bit of this. And this gives me silk seeds, so I can actually take this home and plant it. And I'd recommend pretty much any class, but silk you need a ton of, so I would collect as many silk seeds as you can and make a garden. <laughs> and just grow silk like crazy. Like, you're going to need hundreds of it if you want to build out all of the uh, the next tier of armor. So, we'll mine a bit of this. There's our next portal right there out in the open. Cool. Grab some silk. And if we look at our crafting options here. So our next sword was this uh, frost sapphire, so we can't get that right now. But our fire actually does more. So I'm wondering if this thing is faster... It does give us some better stats, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade to that one. Just, yeah, kind of a waste. It's barely an upgrade. Um, but we do want to go to the Great Wizard stuff, and that takes the Frost Sapphire Dust, and it takes Silk. So I'm going to be mining a lot of Silk and a lot of Blue Crystals as soon as I can find it. Um, so, yeah, I guess just mine more Silk. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have the ability to make Silk? That's one question. Silk Cloth. Eight silk, and I need three, six, ten, fourteen. So that's hundred. Let's see, ten times eight is eighty plus another thirty-two, so hundred and twelve silk. So you can see I need hundreds. I've got thirteen. Might as well put some yellow blocks in here. Just get them out of my inventory. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut so I don't waste the entire episode farming again. But as you can see, I'm just going to go along and chop all these down. And then once I get completely clear of the map, I'll probably go home and just plant a huge garden of this so I can to start uh, to start farming it. Oh, this is interesting, something I want to show. This this little uh, configuration of pillar stones, rune stones, whatever, there's always a dungeon underneath if you dig down. <laughs> So yeah, you can you can see there's a dungeon here. Let me get my wand out. But yeah, so you just dig under it and you fall into this. I think I dug too far down, but that's okay. Let's go see what's in the dungeon, I guess, and then I'll farm silk later. 
Always check under those stairs for treasure chests. These um, tend to drop XP. Most of the time they're sharpening stones and health um, health hearts, whatever. But I always break them just for free XP. Zap that guy. Oh, this new wand is so much better than the last one I had. Alright. That's a door. Let's see what else we got in this room. Yeah, see just little tiny amounts of XP when you when you get those. Some have mana drops, some have heart drops. Into this room. Whoops. Guess I'm breaking the door. Ah, bombers. Got him. <laughs> hey, blow those goes up. Blow those guys up before they blow you up. There we go. We have a chest. Oh, that guy here. All right, we ended up with some green portal shards. Interesting. All right, scroll of healing, regular mana potions. Okay. That's pretty cool. Already getting some green shards now. I mean, our next boss is not for quite a while. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take that cut and uh, get a lot more silk and come back um, when we're ready to travel the next zone. Hopefully it has some blue crystals and we can get our new set of gear. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're back in our uh, home area, and I've planted a ton of these little silk cocoon things. Um, you, they're going to grow in like three or four stages. You can tell they're done and ready to be harvested when a little moth is flying over top of them. So don't harvest them earlier. You'll only get the seed back and not the silk. We ended up getting, um, where is my silk? 46, so about a little under half of what we need, uh, maybe a third of what we need. So you can see there's definitely a need to farm it. Um, and get it growing as fast as possible because it doesn't it doesn't grow very fast as it is so All right Might as well make a linen um, Some of the uh, stuff to take uh, you need fur and That the first time I played through was difficult to find um, but actually you get it off the Kapungos that are in that same level. Let me put away my, all my stuff real quick and then we'll go back to the ice world and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, inventory is clean and back to the snow drifts. Let's get that uh, sharpened up here. I think every time you um, zone back into a level it resets, so. Gotta fight all these mobs again. But it, it's nice if you run out of mobs, don't wait for them to respawn, just zone out and zone back in. That's usually the fastest way. So you can see this one has a little motha in front of it. That just means it's ready to be harvested. Might as well harvest it. Okay. Oh, oh we leveled up. Level 11. Sweet. All right, so the guys I'm talking about, uh, they're probably not going to be out because it's nighttime. Oh, I see one of them. They're little casters called Kapungos. Kill some of these guys real quick. I like fighting uh, ice guys with my fire sword. <laughs> Makes it real easy. But here you go. See, you got a Kapungo. As soon as you take him low health, he's going to turn himself into an ice crystal. Just kill another mob while he's frozen. They throw out, throw out these little ice spells that do quite a lot of damage. So you gotta avoid them. And they'll always do it right as they come out of their ice, so as soon as he's about to come out, just move. And you won't get hit by it. Get lots of crystals. I like this, this level. It's a good farming level because there's so many mobs and they're not that hard to beat. Okay, I already had a yellow portal ready to go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get inside this guy and we'll head to the next one. Hopefully there'll be blue crystals. Here we go, Yucca Yard. Be a desert area, I think. Uh, 
Um, nope, another palm area, <laughs> jungle area. But we've got red crystals, not what I wanted. I mean, I do need some red crystals, but I don't really want to farm them right now. Um, how many of these do we have ready to go? Two. <laughs> not enough. All right, let's see. What do we have in this level? We have flame ruby and basalt and more palm. Okay, so if I want to get some linen, this is a great place to go. And red crystals. But other than that, is there even a portal out of here? There is not even a portal here, so I don't think this area is even worth going to. Unless I'm just farming mobs. So let's go back to the snowdrifts. And farm more mobs, get some more yellow crystals, and we can check out the next area. So be right back. Okay, guys, got enough shards for the next zones. So let's head on in there. I did level up while we were messing around, so level 12 now. That was a great farming zone, because all the mobs were close together. And all of them were weak to fire spells, so... Really easy to farm. And we're here in the Somber Everglades. Alright, this is another zone that looks like Tetratoxy. We've got more iron. And we've got some little Electrobats. Leader Grunts. Is this a new mob? I think this is a new mob for us. He has, like, very little knockback. Zap. There you go. Alright, what does this zone have? This zone has iron and coal, night pin, and some new mobs. So, not what we needed, unfortunately. So yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I uh, hope you liked it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And uh, we'll keep exploring. I'll get enough crystals so we can go to the next area. And hopefully it's got the sapphire crystals so we can get some new spells, new gear, and uh, work our way to the second boss, which is not too far away. Just two, two more portals through. And uh, hopefully we'll get to that next episode. Uh, catch you guys later. Bye.